So yeah, I got a new one for you, uh, movie review, if you will. Caught up and watched it. Uh, it's a new one, come out straight to streaming, uh, digital, this week. Come out, it was released Friday the 11th. Uh, it's called Paradise City, okay? Paradise City. And um, it's got two big names in it, but here's the thing. It's got John Travolta and Bruce Willis. They're on the poster. They're the top build actors for the movie and all that. But here's the thing, right? They're in the movie so little. Literally, Bruce Willis is like in the first maybe, if, if even if, five minutes of the movie. And then that's it. Uh, John Travolta, not in it very much at all either. Um, really, the ones that are in it more are not on the cover. And they're not top build, you know. You got uh, Stephen... I think his name's Stephen Dorff. He played the bad guy, the villain in Blade, the first Blade movie, and he's been in a lot of other different things. He's more or less the leading man, and, uh, and another young male actor who uh, I've never seen in anything else, but uh, these two guys are the main guys. But however, you wind up with Bruce and John, you know, John Travolta, uh, on the poster and as leading man. I mean, they... Even, even in the synopsis, they sell it as the, this big reuniting of, you know, the, the Pulp Fiction stars. You know, of course, John and, and Bruce both were in that, those, that movie. And so they were teasing this big reunion, you know, uh, movie uh, for the both of them. But they, don't, they never, they interact maybe one scene and that's it. And, uh, and so really, it's kind of a, it's kind of a tease. It's kind of a, a, a miss miss what how what do i want to say about it? how do i want to word it um i don't know smoke and mirrors if you will it's 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 bs it's bull because like i said they're not in it a whole lot but when you got these two big names attached to your movie in whatever capacity and uh, the rest of the cast is relatively unknowns you want to go with the ones people have seen and know you know but anyway the movie itself got decent action you know it's it's kind of a, a, a I don't know it's not a cliche story but it's it's different it's about bounty hunters in, in Hawaii so it's a little different there but overall <clears throat> you know it's a B movie it's uh, you know low budget it's straight to streaming uh, Bruce has done a lot of those lately you know just his whole probably past five to six years of movies have been nothing but that and which is really disappointing you know i wanted to see bruce go out on a high note you know i know he's he's retired now but um yeah anyway like i said the movie's decent it's it's um i don't know there have been worse ones okay uh there have been worse uh bruce willis low budget movie type situations and, and and so it's decent like i said stephen dorf does a pretty decent job as the lead man as the, the action you know type guy like i said it's about bounty hunters in hawaii so it is pretty cool in that aspect um you know spoiler alert if you hadn't seen it or are you are you want to see it spoiler uh, like i said bruce he gets killed off pretty early on maybe like five minutes into the movie uh, and it's basically about his bounty hunter son tracking down whoever did it and getting revenge. And so he kind of uh, brings into the fray Stephen Dorff's character to help him uh, get some get back, as they say. And um, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, decent action, but nothing spectacular. You know, I, I wouldn't say it's it's a must watch. It's a decent, you know, if it comes on TV or if it's on Netflix, you know, a free watch is what I'm saying. Try it out that way. Don't waste any money, though. Um, that being said, I have seen worse here lately, uh, for sure. But uh, Paradise City, like I said, when you ain't got nothing else to watch, it's decent. Um, it's rated R, I believe, yeah. It's rated R, and uh, like I said, John Travolta's in it. He, he kind of is getting his bad guy on in this one, but again, he doesn't get to really do a whole lot. Um, much like Bruce, they just kind of are there strictly as they used to be some big names and now they're just used to draw audiences in for these cheaper uh, straight to video type releases. That's And that's a sad fact too because they're great actors. They're still, they're still good, you know, especially John. Um, 
he's still active and so to see him kind of steep to this type thing is uh, I don't know anyway it's like luster but Paradise City it's not streaming anywhere free yet so you don't have that option but if you want to watch it it's you know you can buy or rent um, on the big three Apple Fudu or Amazon and you can rent it it's probably like six seven bucks anyway Paradise City be your discretion you know it's up to your discretion if you want to check it out as always this has been my opinion opinions are like butts everybody's got them and some of them stink later